Hey there, everyone. Welcome to a special Let's Play. We're covering Doctor Who Infinity. I'm Samuel. I'm Sue. And hey, me and her are Doctor Who podcasters. So, of course, whenever a new Doctor Who game comes out, eh, like we're not going to cover it. Ooh, I like. Okay, now I've played a little bit of the Dalek Invasion of Time, but that's not what we're going to do. You see, right now, as a group, although there are three right now, there's also a Tenth Doctor and Rose one, but as a group... Why are you doing this? That's annoying. Hold on. I can There we go. <laughs> that was stupid. <laughs> um, anyway, we have these three stories, but come on. We're doing classic Who right now. It'd be silly if me and Mom suddenly jumped into new series on you guys. So we're going to play a little bit of The Orphans of the Palatra. So. This one... Um, What I love about this game is that it gives you sort of a thing of what the story is, who happens to be in it, who wrote it, who drew it, who colored it. It literally gives you every credit oh, right. in the thing. But these are full-blown stories made specifically for Doctor Who Infinity. So I am now going to turn on the timer on my watch because I forgot to. That also means that BS that we just had didn't take any time off of our time. So I'm going to start it now and away we go. Right. Everyone sit tight. Santiago, darling, make sure Lima is strapped in tightly, okay? Now then. Is everyone settled? Not having second thoughts? No? <laughs> Good. Well, sit tight, and Granny Jones is going to tell you one of her stories. Okay. After she's married. That's okay. And no, before you ask, it won't be one you've heard before, and whoa! No, 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 it's okay. That's exactly what I expected to happen. Everyone's still safe and sound? Excellent. This is a story about how I, when I was just a young Joe Grant, was anything but safe and sound. And as usual, it involves the Doctor, the TARDIS, and a funky bunch of aliens. So, here we go. This is the last story Gary Russell is ever going to write for something Doctor Who, by the way. As a side note, so Doctor Who Infinity got that honor. The TARDIS made an uncomfortable landing, I have to say, and the doctor seemed to be on edge straight away. I was all right, though. I could tell from the smell on the grass and the leaves of the woods that this was Earth. You want to do it? <laughs> I can't do her voice. Right? Okay. Doctor, what's the matter? <laughs> Don't tell me the Time Lords have already canceled your freedom and zapped us straight back here. It's not like that. Good, because I was looking forward to apple picking in the <laughs> Axion Galaxy. Close enough. <laughs> Surely after dealing with that Omega guy were allowed a quick test run in the TARDIS, and... Joe, please. There's something more physically wrong here. The TARDIS has been drawn here, like it's scented something. Rather like a dog scents, scents things, but isn't quite sure what. We seem to be in somewhere called... Galbrook? Galbrook. Galbrook. <laughs> According to that sign... <laughs> 
Ooh, nice little town. I love their graphics. Yeah, it's the it's a lot of people that have done comics for Doctor Who and stuff coming together for this stuff. The the, the wow. team that they've put together is fantastic. We walked through the village, but it was quiet, deserted, really creepy. The doctor found a newspaper on the floor that told us this was 1942. The middle of the Second World War. Oh dear. Mm. Were being bombed regularly. Terrifying for the people that lived through that. Doctor, where is everybody? And suddenly, a rickety door on a shop was yanked open, and a shopkeeper was there. I am mad. It's nearly time. <laughs> God. Wait! Don't go! Get it there quickly! <laughs> the bombs are coming! Oh my God. <laughs> Doctor, maybe we should get under cover. Something seems to be worrying everyone and... Bomb! German bombs! I don't think so, Joe. Now look, make sure all those children are safe. I want to get a hold of these so-called bombs. The bombing begins. Joe needs to make sure the residents of the town are safe from falling bombs. Clearly, orange rubble gems, each match with two plus orange gems, removes one HP that are blocking the residents to set them free. Success. Help all residents of the town make it safely. Failure, none. Okay. So, let's see here. I have to remember one bit of strategy, which is that these also count as gems. So say I take this orange one right here and do that. They matched with each other. Oh, wow. This thing does things with the match three genre that I've never seen anyone do to before on a side note. It's interesting to say the least. I don't know that I would know what I was doing on that. This is the target area that they're going to automatically run for. I learned that in the other one, by the way, so fair dues. Um, but like it said, match things with the orange ones, so... Okay, gotcha. So but right, even them will... but right now the kids are blocked in by the rubble, so they can't run towards where they want to run. Mm -hmm. So yeah. Annoying thing is that you cannot move these square uh... tiles though. So, kids. Yeah, or whatever else might be there later. Because these tiles can be things like I had them be Daleks, for instance, at some point. <laughs>
See, this one is fairly easy because it's the first one. So. <laughs> Sometimes you just get lucky. <laughs> Santiago completed Joe managed to save as many of the town residents as she could two terror from above match the inactive grayed out pillowcase gems below a falling bomb to catch it before it reaches the bottom of the board you must activate by matching two or more of the same colored gems it will activate on the exact spot placed so place it carefully success survive the bombing and failure, any of the town's what residents are wounded. Good lord. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> um, so that one is going to take care of that. Okay, so take you... They sound squishy, whatever they are, by the way. That's a, that's a bit of a clue for us, I think. Is that a pillow? <laughs> yeah, he's throwing pillows down to catch them before they explode. Okay, gotcha. It's a very doctor thing to do. <laughs> I hate it, though. <laughs> That'll fall down eventually to there, so I can take you and... Oh, I positioned that one wrong. <sighs> That's frustrating. Oh, well, at least... At least we made it that far. Because, um, see, this has a turn timer now. As long as nobody gets injured within those turns, then you're okay. good. Thank you. 
No, that's a bad move. It's a totally bad move. It's gonna land and hurt someone. Oh. So that part I've got to redo again. There we go. when I needed that color gem, it turned it into a bomb. That's Made it though, at least. I have so much more to tell you. Completed. The doctor captured one of the bombs. When it was all over, the doctor showed us what he had found. It wasn't a German bomb at all, but a strange ball. The doctor put this carefully inside the pillowcase. That's weird. What's it made of? That's not metal. Well spotted. You're learning to listen from me. No, it feels organic. Like the outer skin of a beetle or something. <laughs> of course I wouldn't know that word. It's chitininous. Then one of the children walked over, slightly older than the others. She was an odd child. Strange eyes. They say that the eyes are the window to the soul, right? Well, I'll say this about Lily. Her eyes were telling me something, but I couldn't put my finger on it. She just seemed more mature than most kids her age would have been in 1932. <laughs> Hello, I'm Lily. Our village has been under attack from these unexploding bombs all week. You realize you're making a English girl sound German <laughs> in an era in which Germans were attacking okay. English people, right? <laughs> I'll say sorry. <laughs> Sometimes, or same time, same place every day. Reverend Young says it's happened before. Reverend Young? Yes, he's my guardian. Sounds like the man to talk to. I'll take you to the mansion. This way. Not even close, but okay. <laughs> we'll just go with it. <laughs> Nancy? Nancy? As we uh, walked towards the manse, we could see Nancy. it had been badly damaged in the strange bombardment, and Lily was extremely upset. Nevertheless, she was determined to be strong, and she led us purposefully through the gates and towards the building. The doctor and I quickly caught up with her, partially because the building might not be safe, but also because we could hear plaintive cries in response to Lily's calls. The poor man, this reverent young, must have been injured. The manse was falling down around us. We were calling out for Reverend Young, and Lily led us to the front of the building. All I could hear was the poor man inside calling out to Lily. He sounded so hurt. Searching. Joe, Lily, and the doctor are searching for anything useful which may help track down Reverend Young. Each takes a different entrance to the manse. Knock down walls with adjacent matches to access the gems success match to clear all special blue blocks failure take too many turns okay
yeah, this isn't going to happen in this one turn that I made. Okay, let's see here. Hit the, try to get those sixes out of the way. Uh-huh, agreed. I just have to... hunk out of things. Um, <laughs> there we go. Such a sad tale. Are you sure you're okay to continue? Completed. The doctor located the reverend. Happy that we had successfully found all the items we needed, we then spoke to the reverend Young. My name is Young, Colin Young, and it's my job to look after Lily here. But the collapsing mon masonry has hurt me. Don't speak. We'll see what we can do. Reverend, <laughs> the doctor says the bombs aren't bombs. Took you a second. <laughs> really? No, he thinks they are made of organic compounds. Cheating. Does he now? I must tell you, the Reverend seemed curiously unfazed by the fact that the doctor and I didn't look local, let alone from 1942. It was like he suspected we were from somewhere else entirely and overjoyed at the thought. Doctor, we need to get this poor man some help. No, no, I can I can come with you. We must get to the great house. Really? Why? Lily and I need to get there. And I think you two can help me with things when we do. Doctor, look at the lake. It's, it's empty. Where has the water gone? As we walked, Lily explained that the Grand House sat on top of some 19th century mines and that this is where we would find help for Reverend Young. Have you noticed these trees, Joe? They don't smell like trees from Earth. There's something about them. Look, the tree is leaking. Be careful, Joe. That's not sap. It's acid. Horrified, I backed away from these awful trees. It occurred to me that these could be acting rather like some kind of guard dog trees, deliberately placed there to keep people away. Lily had spotted a dead squirrel in the branches. The poor thing was almost melted away by the acidic sap. drew the doctor's attention to this, and he nodded, telling us he'd encountered acid this strong before. But not on Earth. But he couldn't remember on which planet. The trees will hurt you. First stun the green larvae by removing its HP, matching the green gems. Then once it becomes a larvae ball, use the acid from the trees to finish it off by matching a poison gem with green gems next to the larvae. Success. Destroy the green alien larvae. That did it. Completed. However, the reverend was looking very unwell. Five, Reign of Fire. 
Each window of the grand house has larvae sitting in it, spitting fire. You must use the umbrella to protect yourselves. Success. Get the doctor and his allies safely into the house. Failure. Any ally is eliminated. Two can play at that game. <laughs> Shoot, how am I supposed to get... Oh, you. Just you. <laughs> Put another one on there just to get it ready, but... the fun begins, how do I possibly... There we go. That was it. Now we just had to do it a few more times. Could have been a green one. Uh, let's see here. Shoot, really? Mm. Yeah. Killed her. Thank <laughs> you. 
did. It seemed to be working. make that dodge meaning that I've got a problem. <sighs> yeah, and I can't slide you in there, so... Yeah, that's not going to work. No, but you're dead after this next move. And this will be the last puzzle we do on a side note. So okay. then I've got to wrap it up. Where were we? And that's as far as we were, <laughs> as it were. <laughs> yeah, because we got to wrap it up. 30 minutes just went past. Um, so, yeah, this was this was just a special. We just wanted to take a look at this game. Who knows? We may do it in the future. But, you know, it was a Doctor Who event, and we're Doctor Who podcasters. So, yeah, kind of had to, right? I thought it was really neat. It's neat what they do with the match three system. It really is. It, it makes it... It makes it to where it's not just bejeweled. I mean, I hate to put it that way. Right. But, um, yeah. But anyway, this, this is what these guys have been doing for a while anyway. But if you want to follow all of our other Let's Plays, go to tscn.tv slash play. And until next time, play on. And, hey, if you want more Doctor Who stuff, we got other stuff on the network. Consider heading on over to tscn.tv slash gtw. That's going through Who. We'll see you over there if you want. But, anyway... See you guys. Bye. Have fun. This has been a production of the Samcast Network. TSCN.TV. What's your passion? <laughs>